one and all. Respected Bala sir, faculty members, and the young intellectual minds. I, student manager, Vaishnavi Koshti of Shri Balaji Society, am privileged to have this blissful opportunity to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, Muhammad Asif Iqbal sir, manager HR at the leading HR consultancy at House Price Waterhouse Coopers and inspiring motivational speaker. Sir has more than 10 years of experience in human capital consulting and EGOV consulting. I would now request Muhammad Asif Iqbal sir to take the stage and guide us through his experience. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. All right, बहुत energy है आपको हाँ। मैं एक कुछ exercise कराना चाहता हूँ। आप लोग दिन भर से बोल रहे हैं। जब हम अपने AC में चाड़ी में थे, हमारे यहाँ दो type को guest lectures आते थे। एक तो जानबूझ के पीछे बैठते थे ताकि हम आराम से सो जाएं। दूसरे पीछे बैठने के बावजूद भी इतना interesting आता है कि पीछे से उठके आगे आ जाते थे। आगे आगे न all right, I'm going to do a quick exercise. I'm going to ask everyone to close your eyes. Close your eyes and say I. I. Brilliant. Keep closing your eyes. I'm going to do a little. Let's talk about dreams. Everybody has a dream in this room. Think about it. For the next 15 seconds, what your dream was. Why are you here? And what is your dream going to be? What did you do to come here all the way here? What obstacles did you overcome to come here? Keep thinking about your dreams. And I will come back, park your thoughts, because I will use this thought process at a later on in the session. Now open your eyes and say, great. great! Brilliant. Now, I'll make you do an exercise. So you have to turn to the partner to your right and say, what do you hate about today's all day long classes? Okay? Wait, 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 wait. What do you hate about today's, about all day long classes? And you have to share this to your next partner sitting to your left, okay? And you have exactly 30 seconds to do it, okay? And when I count, you'll come back. Ready? Time starts now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Shh. Shh. Brilliant. Okay. Exercise number two. Now this time you're going to turn to the partner to your right and say, what do you love about the day? What did you love about the day today's? Okay. Turn to the partner to your right and say it. 30 seconds. Time starts now. Nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shh. Shh. Give yourself a big round of applause because you did excellent. Yeah, absolutely. All right, now I want you to be honest. Exercise number one. What do you hate it about today's? If you think that was much easier than exercise number two, but I ask you what you loved about today's. If you think it is easier, say I. I. Okay? If you exercise number two, what you love about today's sessions, today's all day long, was much easier than what you hate. Which, were, which exercise was much easier according to you? If you think love apart was much easier, say I. Hmm. Either you guys are lying or you guys are not being honest. 
Honest? Yes, sir. Oh, so everybody is loving today's session? Yes, sir. Not mine. I'm talking about the entire day, right? Yes, sir. Brilliant. Okay, don't worry. You will not flunk any classes today. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was trying to prove a point. We are all negative by nature. I talked about dream, and I'm talking to a room full of dreamers. When I was growing in a small town called Bhagalpur, Bihar, I could never see perfectly well. I only had 50% of my eyesight. Well, the relatives felt sorry for my parents. When they thought that maybe my father's name is Muhammad Iqbal Ahmed, he may not do anything, you know, his future is dark. He may not do anything. My uncle and my aunt openly told my mother, Kya tum meri bachi ko god loge? Tum ek barish hoga. Tumara bacha hai ni us like. Kya karoge? When I used to go to school, my teachers, they didn't know how to teach a person who could not see very well. And when <clears throat> I could never see the blackboard perfectly well, Teachers never even came to me and invest time in teaching me. When I was at home, I would say, Look at this neighbor's son. He is so good. He is so big. Why did I do this? 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 And look at you. You are worthless. Good for nothing. Just like any boys and girls. I wanted to be included. I wanted to play cricket. I could never see the ball. And as a result, whichever team I would be on, they would show short lose. Her work, the point he mila, I was the last person to be on chosen by a cricket team. Nobody likes to lose. I started to believe my friends that I was not capable. I was not meant for learning. And as a result, I never took interest towards studies. My principal and my chacha and my father always called me in school. And they started to demand, take this child away. He's ruining the entire culture. He's ruining the entire educational environment. बहुत बार कॉल आता था और प्रिंसिपल यहाँ तक अपने डायरी में लेके आते थे आज लीजिए एटीसी में लिखके देता हूँ ट्रांसफर सर्टिफिकेट दे टेक हिम अवे। I'm a firm believer that God has a plan for each one of us sitting out here. Yes, I never did my studies. Yes, I was bad at my school. Yes, I never was good in subjects. And yes, I had to suffer the consequences. And I failed in class two. Had to repeat a year in class four. But my uncle and my aunt, who came when I was only nine years old for a visit from America. My uncle was married to a, a white American aunt, a lady. And she saw me, and she told my father, can I take him to US? Give him education, give him treatment, perhaps his eyesight would be fine. My father jumped on the ideas, and he actually started to process all the paperwork. But friends, luck have it. My visa got rejected the first time. Disappointment, disappointment. Second time, the visa again got rejected. The third time, thanks to my one of my connections through my uncle and aunt, I finally got a visa. And I, thanks to my father, I was in the United States at very young age. Nahi mujhe angreji aati thi. Nahi mujhe kuch khana achha lagta tha. Ek dusra desh, ek dusri bhasa. Bhot jabardas. 
Dienst. क्या करें? आज भी मुझे वो दिन याद है जब हम पी फिजिकल एजुकेशन क्लास था और हम लोग सबको बोला गया था प्लीज रन द रेस एंड एज एक्सपेक्टेड आई वाज द लास्ट पर्सन टू कम ऑन दैट फ्लेश लाइन मिस्टर स्मिथ ही वाज माय टीचर ऑफ माय फेव पी ही कॉल्ड मी हमें लगा कि शायद अब ये झाके झाड़ेंगे आसिफ यू केपेबल कोई काम भी नहीं हो बकवास हो तुम बट ही कॉल्ड मी असाइड इन सेट हे आसिफ आई सॉ यू रन आई न्यू यू आर द लास्ट पर्सन बट आई थिंक यू हैव पोटेंशियल वट एंड यू प्रैक्टिस वर्क हार्ड एंड यू कैन डू बेटर फॉर अ मोमेंट आई थॉट ये अमेरिका ये लोग अमेरिकन लोग ऐसे ही पागल है मजाक उड़ा रहे हैं हमारे फेलियर्स से I still remember that another incident when I got my first report card, and I got straight A. Uh, sorry, uh, I was failing in all subjects and just passing in two. Banker dar lag raha tha. My goodness, kaise dikhayenge apni mood? Kya bolenge aunty ko? Kya wo phir se wahi dialogue bolengi? Ki aasit dekho ek padosi ka bachcha wo kitna acha kar raha hai dekho tum koi kaam ki nahi. बेकार फालतू कुछ कुछ पल पे फिर भी मैंने हिम्मत किया एंड देन अशोक द रिपोर्ट कर टू माई सरप्राइज एग्जैक्ट वर्ड आई कोटिंग कोट हनी कंसिडरिंग फैक्ट यू बिन टू द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम लर्निंग न्यू लैंग्वेज लर्निंग न्यू कल्चर आई थिंक यू डिट प्री गुड but i strongly feel that you have potential to do much better ab shayad mere andar mein yakeen ho gaye the sare american pagal hain ye log sab failures ko hi sab bolte hain acche kar rahe ho acche kar rahe ho ab kaisa lagega ki agar hum log inka bahut zyada pagal kar rahe hain kaisa lagega agar hum thodi si mehnat kare thodi si apne upar confidence laaye shayad woh din bhi aayega स्ट्रेट इज हर सब्जेक्ट में ओवर नाइंटी परसेंट उस दिन एक थॉट पाया कि यस लेट मी ट्राई आई विल डू इट एंड माई फ्रेंड्स आई स्टार्ट टू वर्क हार्ड आई स्टार्ट टू आस्क टीचर्स फॉर हेल्प टीचर्स वॉज एक्सट्रीमली काइंड एंड कर्टियस दे स्टार्ट टू इन्वाइट मी टू देर होम ऑन द वीकेंड्स After school, and I used to take serious in my studies. I was never good at science. I was never good at uh, maths. But all I knew that I had to do it. I, you know, and there was even an instant when the teacher would come to my house also, and a couple of times they have just uh, coached me or, you know, tutored me in the week domain. Yes, men that can be jaya ni jata. बहुत जबरदस्त मेहनत किया रात दिन बस एक ही एक ही एक ही ड्रीम था कम वट में आई हैव टू गेट ओवर नाइनटी परसेंट देर वॉज मैथ आई कुंट अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज आई कुंट सी प्रॉपरली देन आई यूज टू गेट लार्ज प्रिंट दे यूज टू जेरोक्स इट एंड एन लार्ज इट अगेन आई वुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड माई कजन्स एवरीबडी वुड मेक श्योर माई फ्रेंड्स दे वुड अंडरस्टैंड ओके लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इट यू Then they would take the pain and efforts, and then finally, I am very happy to announce, not after one year, not after two years, but after seven years, friends, it came a day where actually I had over ninety percent in all my subjects in class ten. Well, something also happened at York, which was a, a turning around for me. हमने आपको बोला कि जैसे कि आप 50 percent हमारी आई साइड थी, and then all of a sudden it started to deteriorate at a very rapid speed. Suddenly, 
the world started to full of darkness main depression mein chala jata tha ki yaar mere sath kya ho raha hai aisa humne kya kiya hai saath ki mere sath hi ho raha hai kyun roshni ja rahi hai ya allah ye hamare sath hi kyun i start to get depressed my mother is my mom my mom i mean my mother to mom would tell me ki honey no worries okay if your eyes is not fine fair enough no problem you know but you have a beautiful brain so why don't you make the most utility out of the limited resources you have but nothing seemed to convince me i had a teacher who said okay there are as if there are a lot of blind people living in this world who are doing wonders why can't you nothing seemed to change i was getting depressions hame lag raha tha ki mere saath hi ye nine saath hai kyun itne sare log hain jiske you know they have an evil intention like politicians why can't you take their side away god and none by me i was absolutely in denial i refused to accept the fact that i was blind my teachers were trying to teach me okay here yeah, so if you can do it come on come on everybody can do it you can do it also but nothing seemed to convince me i started to believe i started to believe my you know back home the same dialogue asif you will not be able to survive the harsh reality you cannot survive i started to have suicidal thoughts maybe i should end my life baat ho gaya kaise jiunga ऐसे ही सिर्फ फिफ्टी परसेंट दिखता था और कैसे जीऊंगा बिना आंखों की सब लोग सब सही बोल रहे थे घर पे नहीं सरवाइव कर पाओगे माय डिप्रेशन स्टार्ट टू सिंक डीपर डीपर पर माय टीचर नो आई एम जोर्डन हु वाज अपॉइंटेड एंड ही वाज ट्राइंग टू टीच मी हाउ टू लर्न अल्टरनेटिव स्किल्स टू ओवरकम माय डिसेबिलिटी बट आई लिव इन अ फूल्स वर्ल्ड एंड आई स्टार्ट टू बिलीव दैट गॉड विल डू अ मिरेकल एंड माय हाई साइड वुड be fine i don't have to worry about all this nonsense but nothing a miracle which never happened and i started to sink into depression then finally my teacher got irritated by me and he said exactly this word hey asif you have two choice choice a accept the fact you're going blind be no one be miserable a choice b accept the fact you're going blind and learn alternative techniques to overcome them and do wonders but then you click kar gaya mars mein i said to believe that yes i can survive i can survive with this you know uh, without my eyesight if millions of people around the world if they can live why can they I started to learn how to use a oh, talking software on my laptop and my cell phone and how to cross the street how to iron my clothes I started to learn all those skill sets which is required to live a normal life and again you know my academics I started to believe yes I will do it and friends you know what Class twelve, I passed with over ninety percent without my eyesight. Yeah. So let me share one video clip, then I'll share some more stories. Okay. There is a. Uh, can we have the audio on, please? Thirty-nine. Okay. Windows D. Alt tab, type trademark left bracket 15 right Windows D folder view list view home I P backup enter backup items L library enter D documents enter documents D R presentation enter presentation N Nazir Nazaria full episode zero enter switch to library button control enter with her.
मेरी मंजिलें तेरी मंजिलें मेरे हौसले तेरे हौसले हैं जुदा नहीं फिर भी अलग इंसान की इन तीन बुनियादी जरूरतों को पूरा करने के लिए चाहिए काम जैसे ही बच्चा थोड़ा बड़ा होता है हम उससे पूछने लगते हैं बेटे बड़े होकर क्या बनोगे और कोई बच्चा ये नहीं कहता कुछ नहीं अपनी समझ से कोई गुब्बारे वाला बनना चाहता है कोई टीचर कोई पायलट काम या एम्प्लॉयमेंट की सिर्फ ये अहमियत नहीं है कि आप अपनी नौकरी से कमा खा सकते बल्कि काम आपकी पहचान बन जाता है आपको सोसाइटी का एक प्रोडक्टिव हिस्सा होने का एहसास दिलाता है और सिर्फ इसलिए कि कोई इंसान देख नहीं सकता उसे नौकरी या प्रोडक्टिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट से दूर रखना उसके पूरे वजूद को उसके पोटेंशियल को नजरअंदाज करने के बराबर है और इसमें नुकसान किसका है सिर्फ दृष्टिहीन संख्या का या पूरे समाज का आज हर्ष फिर हमें मिलवाएंगे कुछ ऐसे लोगों से जो हमें सोचने पर मजबूर कर देंगे कि हमारे नजरिए में कुछ तो कमी है फिल्म स्कूल से पास होने के बाद जब मैंने काम की तलाश शुरू की तब समझ में आया कि आपने स्कूल कॉलेज प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज में चाहे कितनी ही मेहनत क्यों ना की जिंदगी की असलियत तब समझ में आती है जो खुद कमाना पड़ता है और कई लोग ऐसे हैं जिनको इस असलियत तक पहुंचने के पहले और भी कई असलियतों का सामना करना पड़ता है जैसे आसिफ इकबाल मेरा यही मानना है कि इफ यू हैव दैट विल एंड इफ यू हैव दैट डिटर्मिनेशन तो फिर रास्ते अपने आप ऊपर वाला सब निकाल देता है लाइक एनी अदर एम बी एस्परेंट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू क्रैक स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ हाउ टू क्रैक एंट्रेंस टेस्ट तो हमने कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट काफ़ी कैलकटा शहर में एक कोचिंग को बोला वो ने बोला कि सॉरी आसिफ हमें कोई एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है ब्लाइंड और विजली बेड को पढ़ाने में हमें पता है कि आप मोस्ट ऑफ दी यूल फेल और ये हमारे लिए नेगेटिव इम्प्रेशन होगा तो हमें लगा कि ये चलिए पहला एक्सपीरियंस पहला है ये इस टाइप की कहानी तो बहुत सुनते रहते चलो लेट्स अप्लाई फॉर सेकेंड तो मैंने दूसरी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट या तीसरी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट जब भी मैंने कैलकटा में ही सबको अप्रोच किया तो उन्होंने सेम कहानी बोला कि सॉरी हम तुम्हें नहीं पढ़ा पाएंगे हमें कोई आइडिया है नहीं तुम फेल करोगे हमारा कोचिंग का नाम खराब होगा फाइनली छठे रिजेक्शन के बाद सातवा जब हुआ तो उसने फाइनली हमें लिया जनरली एक एम का इंटरव्यू अबाउट पंद्रह से बीस मिनट होता था बट मेरा करीब डेढ़ घंटा लास्ट किया तमाम सवाल जवाब करने के बाद उन्होंने बोला ठीक है हम एडमिशन तो कोई एक ही कंडीशन में देंगे तुम्हारे लिए कोई लोअर स्टैंडर्ड नहीं होगा हमने उनको एक ही बार बोला कि सर हमें मौका दीजिए और हम अपना प्रूफ वर्क करते हैं और हम उस टाइम में जब हम निकले थे तो हम सिर्फ पाँचवा हिंदुस्तानी पाँचवा इंडियन जिसने एम किया था विदिलेंट पहला टिपिकली हम लोग क्लाइंट मीटिंग करीब आपके 80% परसेंट ऑफ द डेज रहता है फिर उसके बाद डॉक्यूमेंटेशन है जो मिनट मीटिंग्स में हुआ उसका मिनट्स हमारी इंडस्ट्री में ये बहुत ही माने रखती है एक्चुअली मीटिंग्स और फिर हम लोग उसको प्रोजेक्ट प्लान में देख रहे हैं कि क्या क्या स्कोप है क्या डिलीवरेबल है क्या फॉलो कर रहा है फिर उसके बाद 
लगभग ये सब वाइंड अप करके फिर यू नो ए टिपिकल अ बिजी डे वुड गेट मी होम अराउंड सेवन थर्टी टू एट ओ क्लॉक एक चीज़ अगर लाइफ में अगर आप अपना एटीट्यूड थोड़ा सही कर लेना कि हाँ कहाँ होगा या हो सकता है करेंगे तो अपने आप सब कुछ अलाइन हो जाता आई कंडक्ट लॉट ऑफ रिक्रूटमेंट्स फॉर माय कंपनीज ऑल्सो और उसमें हम बेसिक फैक्टर्स देखते हैं कि ठीक है यार बंदी का स्किल से तो सिखा भी देते हैं बट इसको सीखने की इच्छा है कि नहीं वो खाई से कि वही हम लोग डिटर्मेंट करते हैं आधार में भी हमने इंक्लूजन स्ट्रैटेजी बनाई और हमने काफ़ी कैम्प्स फॉर द डिसबल्ड एनरोलमेंट किया वी डिड लॉट ऑफ पायलट प्रोजेक्ट इन आंध्र प्रदेश कर्नाटका पाण्डिचेरी तमिलनाडु और आपके इवन इन डेली एन सी आर रीजन और उस उस पायलट को फिर हमने एक स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर्स डेवलप की और कुछ कुछ पॉलिसी डिसीजन लेनी थी जिन्होंने हमने रिकमेंड किया जैसे अभी फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल आधार एनरोलमेंट चाहे उस टाइम में काफ़ी भीड़ था एनरोलमेंट सेंटर्स में तो वहाँ पर महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट के साथ उन्होंने मिल के एक नोटिफिकेशन जो किया था कि जो भी डिसेबल्ड है उनको प्रायोरिटी एनरोलमेंट देंगे और सीनियर सिटीजन और एक प्रेगनेंट है तो ये एक नोटिफिकेशन आया था महाराष्ट्र गवर्नमेंट में मेरा यही मानना है कि एटलीस्ट हमारी जितनी कम्युनिटीज हैं वो लोग एटलीस्ट एक अच्छा जॉब करें ताकि आने वाले कल के नेक्स्ट जनरेशन के लिए वी वी कैंड ऑफ सेट दिन कैंड ऑफ सेट द प्रेजिडेंट मुश्किल है लेकिन इम्पॉसिबल नहीं तो यह है आंसर एक बार Control S, W M P transit O F three, O F four, Windows Media Player, W M P transit. Brilliant. Double Windows, W M P transit. I'll come back to. Can I continue with my stories? Yes, sir. Pakka? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, let me ask you guys. Uh, how many of you are uh, from North India? Yes, say I. I. Okay. How many of you are from South India? If yes, say I. 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 Okay, how many of you from West India? If we, if yes, say aye. Aye. Okay, how many of you from North India? Say yes, if I. Aye. Brilliant. I can speak in Hindi. That's why I wanted to teach this exercise. Okay, great. So um, <clears throat> so my I'll talk about my second year um MBA. So first year MBA, the summer internship, right? So uh. We had uh, companies visiting the campus, and then uh, you know, I my CV would get shortlisted. I would make it to the group discussions, and then to the final interview, and then the last thing when they came to know that I could not see, then they say, "Oh, sir, why did you not tell me this? I would have never selected your CV." I would not name name companies. I said, "Okay, I first enough rejections. Let me try another." The second companies again when I went to them and they said, "This is for summer internship, okay?" Then they said, "Oh my goodness, I have not taken permission from my land manager. How can you take that? What if they don't like you, uh, my choices?" I'm sorry, I am not in a position to take this risk. Unfortunately, friends, seven or eight companies rejected my CV. They said, "You don't qualify," but the real reason was. They didn't want to give an opportunity to someone who cannot see. I told to my guru, Professor Pillai, who was founder director of Simichari. He said, "What should I do?" So I said, "Don't worry. Abhi bhi bahut sara khela baaki hai. Tum ko chhakka marna hai." I didn't know what he meant by that. Then he called a uh, piano nerd boy. companies in the next day and he spoke to the md and he said yes we would love to explore him and i got into pnu netloid and i was doing the summer internship then one happened something happened breaking news pillai sir has been asked to leave i was impacted the most I have left home, my family, all the way from Calcutta, only in one hopes that I am going to be financially independent. 
I'm going to have a job. If Pillay sir was my, on my, you know, he had a soft corner for me, he would make things work, but now he's there no more. What would be the new director of, the, uh, what he would probably have his plate full because he would be a new guy and he's trying to prove his work. He probably would not think of me. And all this thought process started to come to me. Am I going to go home again with no placements? I started thinking and thinking because I knew that if I sat through the normal process, I knew that I'm going to face rejection. I knew that I would face defeated. Not from my, not fault of mine. I decided that I should do something. And I started to approach people, whoever I knew, I only had a very limited network at that time. But then I knew someone in iFlex Solutions. So they also made a Volvo offer. And then uh, I was also asked, I was invited by a NASCOM people to make a presentation on IT impact on disabled in Calcutta. So when I went there, Mr. Rupan Roy, who was the managing director of PwC India then, he was a part of the audience. And after the presentation, I went to meet him and he said, Hey, Asif, we have a large setup here. Why don't you come and work for us? Well, <clears throat> I was overjoyed. But when I came to campus, I had already had a job offer called PNO Detroit. They had offering me pre placement offer. I was absolutely in dilemma. Didn't know what to do because I couldn't let them down because they gave me a foundation, a platform to launch. And I just cannot do an injustice. So I talked, I consulted Apile sir. He said, don't worry, uh, you know, listen to your heart. Then some tragedy happened in my home. My brother-in-law was only 38 years old. He passed away. My family was absolutely traumatized. And I didn't know what, and my, my family actually needed me. They were, I mean, we all were ha having the difficult times. So I decided to say no to being on Lloyd in Bombay and went to back to Canada from PwC. I thought PwC was the best campus brand and you know, I'm gonna probably be higher up and make million dollars and be happy. But when I started my work, friends, I started my work by cold calling. You know, people in the call center, hi, I'm from PwC, can, uh, you know, we'd love to explore whether you can give us an opportunity to sell, uh, you know, be an IT advisor to you and all that stuff. 12, 15, 17 rejections. But only good things was, but when you say PwC name, they were actually willing to talk to you. So I did this for a while. My Batch may, uh, my you know colleagues who joined with me, they were taken into a client side, client facing role, and I wanted to do that. So I was never put on a client side role. This happened for about nine months to a year, and you know I was doing all this writing proposals, and 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 I'm a people type of person. I would love to interact with people and do. So one day I decided that I must ask my boss, why is he doing that? He's taking the other guy, but not me. Why? Why? I, uh, he took me for a chai and he said, listen, Asif, when we go to visit a client or a prospective, we want to present the best of PwC. And I'm afraid your disability is not the best. I was absolutely shattered. I didn't know how to react. But I told him, okay, sir, I don't have the experience to refute that, but I'll revisit this thought process after two years. I thought and thought and thought, and then the idea came to me that I should go up to the higher up. I talked to the higher ups, and guess what? My boss was changed. <laughs> yeah? My boss was changed. If I would have sat idle there, I would have not done anything. So my, uh, you know, then I had a lady boss and she said, okay, you have done an MBA from SCMHRD, you have the potential, 
Why do you want to do the donkey's job? And she created a lot of opportunity. Even she would uh, scold and yell if I make mistakes. Of course, she said, I'm going to treat you normal just like everyone else. And, but I will make sure that and she would talk to the client and say, that, okay, we have no issues. We know you, Rachna. We will create. And guess what? I was even managing projects. So, <clears throat> so that continues for a while. And let me show you how I actually work. And then I'll come and share more stories and then then we'll uh, first i would like you to do an exercise okay do you have all have pen and a paper yeah. brilliant okay now write down for me three things three things okay because i want when you go out of this room i would like you to be a changed person okay Three things I want you to write on the piece of paper. First, you write your name on top, okay? Name and roll number or whichever institute, I mean, whichever part of the institute you are from. So at least we can easily identify you. And remember, this is going to be read at long, so please don't write nasty things because it will not look nice, right? Okay? So you're going to write, and please write as brief as possible, okay? First thing, you're going to write one liner. What is your dream? One liner. So my dream that by 2030, I want to be the best motivation speakers in India. Right? So what is your dream in the next 30 seconds you have to write? Okay? Keep writing because I'll keep telling you what to write. And then remember, this is going to be a shared. So please be careful what you write. Okay? All right, this is not Facebook. <clears throat> okay, can I share more stories? So you think uh, getting a job and that's good enough. I mean, life is great and you know, that's the end of problems. Yes, no, no, only few of them, no. Yes, getting a job, does, does that mean that's the end of life, end of problems? Brilliant, brilliant. So let me share you more problems then. So friends, I am a firm believer in action. Okay? Because only because, well, you know why I am a firm believer? I'll tell you. Because this Shire, I, I don't know. <clears throat> it, it's, a, it's a very powerful, uh, I think it's Amitabh Bachchan's uh, father wrote it. Lehro se dar ke nauka paar nahi hota. Koshish karno walo ki? Brilliant. And that's the ideology I always apply. I remembered once I was coming to, uh, uh, in one city, I, I was going for an Aadhaar rollout. Okay, how many people has Aadhaar, CI? Aye. Brilliant. I also have an Aadhaar. Can you give yourself a big hand because that's a very powerful tool, yeah? <clears throat> So once uh, we had a, a Aadhaar rollout in one of the cities and I was, you know, uh, traveling alone. And one of uh, the night I was traveling to a city B and then city A, that, you know, the airport manager, the airline airport manager, he, he saw me walking alone with my stick and he said, are you flying with us? I said, yes. Uh, but uh, you cannot see, how can you fly alone? I said the same way that I flew here two days back. <laughs> then he said, no, no, it's, I cannot uh, let you fly because it's against the Director General Civil Aviation Guidelines. I said, what nonsense are you talking about? I was part of the National Committee which actually drafted those guidelines. <laughs> so uh, anyways, I got into argument and then he said, Put this guy on a standby, let other passenger boards. I was arguing with him, are you, I'm not going on a discounted fare, I'm paying a normal fare just like everyone else. You know, he said, no, no, nothing doing, I will not let you board. It was getting time, time was clicking, and I, I think that's probably the third last passenger. Then he said, okay, if you want to board, you'll have to sign this bond. I said, my response was, do you make this bond sign to everybody else? Do you make this bond sign to all the guests that travels with you? He said, that's none of your business. Then anyways, I signed because I had no choice because there was a rollout and I, I had a presentation with the enrollment agencies. 
So I signed, and then and, uh, I asked him, can you give me a Xerox copy of this? And he said, no, 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 it's against the rule. I said, what nonsense are you talking about? I don't even know what document I'm signing. Then he said, oh, okay. And then somebody in the, behind my queue, they said, no, you have to give it to them. How do they know what they are Then the guy gave it to me. I did my work in the city B and went back to my hometown, Calcutta, and I decided I should do something about this. <clears throat> I looked up on the internet, came across the Director General Civil Aviation. There was a residence number mentioned in the, on there. I just picked up the phone and called that number. Lady picked up and it was Mrs. Director General Civil Aviation. I explained to the whole story and she said, okay, that's really bad, that should not be happening. Okay, you do one thing, you email and scan the uh, scan copy and, and send it to my husband and you call uh, tomorrow at 11.30, I'll brief my husband and tell the secretary I told you uh, to call him and put the file in front of his desk. And you call back in the night and I'll make, you, make sure that you speak to him. I did that. I did. I called. I even uh, called the secretary and I spoke to him and he said, okay. Then I called in the night and, uh, <clears throat> and then I spoke to her husband again. He said, don't worry, we will take action. The next day, I thought, mm, probably a board of action, like, kuch hoga nahi, brother. But I thought, I am not going to be able to Let me keep on trying. Next day, the airline CEO was called, ladies and gentlemen, and the uh, CEO did an investigation, and then they confronted the guy, and the guy said, no, 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 I did not do anything. I think the guest is trying to, uh, you know, <clears throat> seek compensation. So, uh, you know, the director general, sir, was, he was extremely ticked off, and he said, okay, if he was trying to seek compensation, who signed this? And I've already signed, I sent him a scanned copy of that. And, uh, you know, and then the, the CEO's team went back to them and uh, he showed it. And then the finally the guy confessed to his wrongdoing. This is the woman power. Right? If it wasn't for Mrs. Director General, I would not have even got that chance. If I did not try, so that guy was terminated. And as a result, the guidelines were again redrafted. And I was part of that, that was heading. And I conducted a sensitization exercise with all the top airlines of the domestic, in, domestic airlines of India. Because we have the power to change. Right? Friends, struggles and obstacles will probably accompany me till the grave. Just about three months ago, I, I forgot to book a cab through the office, and I took a Uber. And I had to take an Indigo flight to some city, I don't remember when. I told the Uber guy, you know, generally I try to catch a conversation and try to, you know, develop a relationship with the Uber guy. And uh, <clears throat> the guy left me 250 meters away from the gate of the airport, ahead of the airport gate. The boarding, board clo boarding gate closed in 20 minutes. Sorry, the uh, boarding card issue gates closed. In, you know that you have 45 minutes, right? Yes. So it, it was another 10 minutes before they will actually close down the system. I didn't know what to do. Should I yell at him? Should I, what should I do? I decided that let me just, I asked him, okay, batao hi batao, kaun se tarap gate hai? Bola, piche ghum dayye. Then I started walking toward that and ask, he asking, yelling, you know, with my stick and with my luggage, laptop bag and all that. Okay, uh, excuse me, gate kaha hai, gate kaha hai, gate kaha hai? Then some old lady, Came and he said, okay, you keep going straight, keep going straight. And I finally, just before three minutes left, I reached that gate. Otherwise, that times. So friends, I'm trying to tell you, life is never fair. Let me show you how I work, then I'll come back to more stories, okay? 
All right. Okay. So I use a normal laptop. Only thing different is whatever is on the screen. It says it out. Okay. So let me see. Okay. Here we go. Audio, please. Presentation. Hmm. I use new multi select list box. Windows T. Task bar Internet E. Excel 2013 button. Enter. Opening dash Excel. Please wait. Excel. Select and paste 2.0. Escape. Excel. Put one. Put one. Everybody knows what this is, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah, this was my best friend uh, during commerce, actually. Right? So, um, let me show you. So, it, it works very simple. A1. It tells me which cell I'm in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 54, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 34, enter, 6, 5, 2, 1, 65, 21, enter, land, A5, type in the range to some enter, land, A6, 63,000. Okay, so I don't use a mouse, I use everything by a keyboard, right? And so you're probably wondering if you have a series of data, how would you manage? Very simple. Microsoft Excel, want to save your changes to apostrophe, put 1, tab, don't save, but space, Excel, Excel, control O. Backstage new file open O shift shift tab recent workbooks through home PCB dot XLSX HPD dot XLSX button C four car cash loan dot XLS button C four enter. Okay. Car cash so here here you have a fuel log sheet right which I maintain. Hmm. Okay. RS, so it, it tells you exactly which cell I am in. ABG, well, so suppose if I want to go let's say in C four. Control G go to type C. Four C four enter zero four slash zero eight three hundred ninety zero four slash zero eight slash twenty ten four hundred sixty one right four sixty one what it does so I can navigate all this the formulas the calculations all of them of course on it works really well on the internet but in uh, in the interest of time I will not show you that okay eight oh three p.m. just I want to Alt F4 presentation items new multi select list box name Windows T task bar Internet W Word button menu enter Word no open document. Escape. Control N. Document 2. Print view. Edit. T A A A S. Thanks. S O S O. M U S A M F O R 4. A T T E N T R F N N Y S P S L I O N S P O D A Y. Okay. Explain. Enter. Brilliant. Are you convinced? Second time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So um, you know. Just like everyone knew, um, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, and before, uh, I want to, what is this in my hand? What? Phone? Smartphone? Okay, this is an iPhone. And how many people are using Apple product? Yes, say I. Oh boy. Do you know that in your Apple product, all I have to do, no, 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 it's not Siri. So all I have to do is, there's a, a software called VoiceOver. And wherever I am putting my um, clock settings, K and a reader, right? So I can send WhatsApp message, I can take, I use sophisticated, like if you give me a, 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 a printed, uh, let's say boarding card, for example, I can take a picture and it will read out within three seconds. Right? If I go to a restaurant or if I go to a customer's place and I get a hard copy of some documents and I need to read it what to, in order to understand that. So I can take pictures using my phone. And of course, how many people are using WhatsApp? Say I. I. Brilliant. I am also one of you. How many people are using Facebook? Say I. I. Brilliant. I am one of you. How many people are on LinkedIn? I. Bapre, sabhi log hai. Achha. But after LinkedIn, I accept not accept it because you are professional way. Nahi. Okay? <laughs> Job karne ke baad, jarur join kare. But Facebook, of course, feel free to send my gear. Huh? Okay. Now, last thing I wanted to show you before I, I go on to more stories. Alt-tab, presentation, items view, perception of judgment, dot key, power. Power of ordinary people, dot PPT, enter. Opening dash. Opening dash PowerPoint. Ready, power of order. F6, status bar tool. F5, slideshow. Power All right, so it works really well on PPT also. Slide okay. one. I'll just show it to power you. Power of people. It, says, it reads out the text. It has some limitation. I'll show it to you in a little bit. Slide two, beginning of PWs, beginning. Okay, this uh, is an image of former chief minister of, of West Bengal. Slide three, fun time. Oh, this is a very relative pictures. I don't know. Uh, 
if you have, uh, this is in a place called Mahableshwar, and this is in, I think this was a yeah, 2006, when I was doing that up, sorry, 2004. And, yeah. Fun times. Slide three, fun times. Slide four, Governor Award Award. Slide four, Governor Award 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 Award. This is another image of Governor Award which I received. Now he's going to be a Vice President, inshallah, if God willing, you know? Yeah. Slide five, National Awards. National Award by Hamid Ansari, the current Vice President. Yeah. Slide six, scary moments, but explain slide six. Oh, my pray. Scary moments. इस पे चढ़ के हमें जनरली डर नहीं लगता लेकिन इस पे चढ़ के हमें से नानी दादी सबको चाचा चाची सभी आ जाएंगे हां क्या तो अगर आप चढ़ना चाहें तो अपने रिस्क पे चढ़ें स्लाइड 7 पीस वर्ल्ड जर्नी आई विल नॉट रन दिस वीडियो फॉर्चुनेट इवेंट डीएससी आई 20 यस यस माय फ्रेंड्स Thanks to my SMHRD, thanks to Pille sir, thanks to DR Karthik and sir. I was very fortunate to meet him, not one time, but seven or eight times. Every meeting was a learning opportunity for me. And I always thought of one, one say, you know, I may be saying it wrong, but like, खुद को कर दे इतना बुलंद तकदीर से पहले खुदा पूछे अपने बंदे से तेरी रजा क्या है? हाँ? And after meeting Dr. Abdul Kalam, I always think of that. Yeah. Slide nine, Chief Metro Tajik. You know everyone who is this? Yeah, I had my privilege of meeting him. And delivering a speech as a panel member to over 15,000 students. Kiran Bedi, ma'am. Once again, thanks to Pillay sir and thanks to Karthik and sir. There was a conference in Delhi where I was a keynote speech there. Slide 11, Chairman Dashu Udai. This you all know, Nandan Nilekani sir, right? So I worked with him also. I used to report directly to him in my Aadhaar days. And it was a great learning opportunity with him. Slide 12, Santosh Colony, I did. This is leprosy affected people who is getting enrolled. Can you imagine? We had to do a lot of change management workshop with the enrollment agencies. Because they would not enroll them because they had a fear of getting this disease. So we had to call the experts, make the convincing, and then finally they were convinced. And this enrollment took place. Kiran in Hyderabad. Slide 13, Maharashtra. This is an enrollment of Aadhaar in, in Bombay. Slide 14, my family. This is only one my and one daughter. Slide 15, family moments. Wow, I'm riding an elephant now. Huh? Yeah. Next slide is going to be very, very special. I'm actually driving a car. Okay. Okay. May not be a real car, but I'm driving a car. Okay. Slide 17. Contact details. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just skipped. Slide 16. Accessible tourism. Slide 16. Accessible. Accessible tourism. So this is uh, in Singapore last year, and this was about probably 600 meter down the hill. It's a, it's called Luch actually, and uh, it's it's not. And you know, so I thought he, they'll probably say no, you cannot see, you cannot do it. So, but I asked anyways, uh, and surprisingly they allowed me because they said okay, I will give the trainer uh, to your right and left. And believe me, it was a thrilling experience. Slide 17, contact, come. Okay, I'm going to come back to this, don't worry. I'll okay. come back. Because, remember, I come here, I've been coming here for the last three years. And last year, 28 of the senior, your seniors, have actually wrote an appreciation email. So I hope 
You guys will beat that last batch number? Yes. Brilliant. I'll share that email in a little bit. Before that, um, la, 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 la. Okay. <clears throat> Second thing on your sheet again. What is your learning? Only one bullet point, okay? What is your learning from my session? Okay? Only one bullet try, please. Yaad rakhiega, aapko ye koi test nahi hai, you will not be evaluated. Please write short and crisp. Okay? Number three. This is the last thing. Then I'll tell you one more story and then we'll come back. Number three. Remember I told you that when you all dreamers, when you will be walking out of this room, completely change and transform one behavior change that you will implement from today onward in yourself. Be honest and write about it. One behavior change. Maybe some of you might write, I will not complain. Right? One behavior change, I want each one of you to think about it and write. Right? I hope all of you have written your name on it. Yes. Okay, great. Can I get back to my stories? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, volume, please. 8.13 Okay. 8.13 Brilliant. So we have 8.13. So I'll, I'll share one last story before I start calling each one of you. Okay. Are you guys all done with the uh, answer number three? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I get two, three volunteers who can quickly collect all of the papers? Okay. While I share the stories with minimum chaos, huh? Okay. You have to think, okay. Two or three volunteers collect the papers, come up to the stage next to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I'll, I'll, I'll come. Can I go on with my stories? Okay. You have to be silent. Otherwise, remember, everybody has to hear. <clears throat> okay. The story is the third point, which is a very important point, I, I believe. See, we have a, we, everyone has a potential to change. Everyone has that hero, that championship in themselves. Right? You know, in, in current circumstances, okay? Alright. If you guys are not silenced, then I'm not going to share the stories. Because remember, I cannot see, but I can hear. So I have to have a pin drop silence, then only we can share. Can I share now? Okay, all the volunteers are on the job? Yes, please shuffle all the volunteers, okay? Shuffle and then come up. Come up, all three of you here. Okay? Alright, can I share? Yeah, okay. So in the current scenario, in the rising intolerance, in the circumstances, I believe everyone has a potential to change and make a difference. To the community around you. You guys are all reading newspapers? Yes, sir. How many read newspapers? Seriously, say I. I. How many don't even look at the newspaper? Say I. I. Wow, very nice. I should, uh, you know, hang up a big medal and say, "Wow, the ba you know the SBS batches are amazing. They don't even read the newspapers." <clears throat> See, I, I firmly believe if you look around as a student, as a community member, everyone has a power to change. Everyone has a power to make a positive difference in people's life. The recent in incident of Amarnath Yatra, right? The pilgrimage, he was a bus driver. Salim Sheikh. There was a militant who attacked the vehicle. The bullets were firing, but he was still calm and he was professional about his driving and he kept on driving. And he drove 
for two kilometers, bullets, taking the bullets without querying, because all he thought about is that he had to save that life, that Salim sake, right? Right? Yes, right? And he did his job professionally, even though he's a driver and the, at the low, lower standard of the society. And he saved 53 lives. We are also educated. We are blessed with so many things. Couldn't we make that difference? Right? One more shayat that I have just recently learned. Majab ye nahi sikhata dusre se bair, sorry, aapas me bair karna. Hindi hai hum batan Hindustan hamara. Right? Friends, we are all united here because we are only cause, because we are human beings. I come here all the way from Calcutta because I know if I am successful in inspiring one of you, which would transform, my job is done. Right? And request everyone to stand up. Let's hold each other's hand. We are going to take a pledge today. We will work hard. We will work hard. We will work for our community. We will work for our community. We will be a change champion. We will be a change champion. We will contribute to our country at large. We will contribute to our country at large. Brilliant. So we are often down, and I'm not saying that you will never feel down. The one song which always cheers me up, and I'm sure it's going to cheer you up too. Try it. Okay, ready? I'm going to sing and I'm requesting everyone to sing me along, okay? Hum honge kamiya, hum honge kamiya, hum honge kamiya, ek din, oh man me hai vishwas, pura hai vishwas, hum honge kamiya. On behalf of our Sri Balaji family, convey deep regards and hearty thanks to Honorable Mr. Asif Iqbal, sir. Thank you, everyone.